and we have here the Tailwind, which is a pedal assist electric bike. It really acts like a regular bike. Once you start to pedal, after about two rotations, you kind of feel like a push on your back and it assists you uphill, downhill. It's a great commuter bike and it's also great uh, for people that have, might have problems with their knees or need assistance and still want to get some exercise on the bike. Well, it felt like suddenly someone gave you a giant push. You would pedaling along nicely and suddenly it kicked in and there was this moment of like you're about to go down a roller coaster and you wonder if you have control, but you actually do. So I, after the first couple of passes, I felt a lot better that I was actually in control of this thing. It all starts in the front here with a 250 watt brushless motor that's built into the front wheel and it's connected internal routing cables to the Toshiba battery in the back. It's a lithium ion uh, supercharged battery called a Skib. This battery is very unique in the market. It gives you a range of about 15 to 25 miles and it's a quick charge which means it charges once it's done in one half hour. And with a commercial charger, seven minutes. Most e-bike companies have their battery built into the bike, so you actually have to charge the bike. With the skib, you just pull it out, you take it to the office, you take it home, and it's very light. You know, I've gotten used to riding bikes around with, you know, kids in the seat, lots of groceries and all of that, and this weighs a lot less than a kid or two bags of groceries. You could, in essence, take a ride, charge it at a coffee house, and then put it back in, and it's ready to go. The other nice thing about the Toshiba, it gets 3,000 life cycles, which for a battery is, is outstanding. Um, our, the competition is around 1,000. This is your controller right here. So this two functions, it's turning it on and off, and it shows the life of the battery that you have left on this side. And right here, you have three different settings for your power. So right here, it's on the middle, which is if you're on a flat. There, it gives you a little more juice, say if you're going uphill. And if you were going downhill, or just wanted less power, you use that button. So depending on if you're going uphill, what your weight is, will vary on how far you get the life out of the battery. 15 to 20 is about the average. It kicks in as soon as you start putting any effort at all into pedaling. And it stops if you get completely lazy and coast or if you hit the brakes. It's street legal, it's classified as a bicycle. Um, it goes up to 25K in speed. So if it went above that, it would be a different classification. Um, but you can use this on bike pass, city bike pass, anywhere you would use a bicycle. Retail is 3,100 in the US. And there, we do offer lower price points on different battery technologies, but the Tailwind with the Toshiba is 3,100. I can definitely see riding this around town. You could get used to it pretty easily. Um, it would be fun to try it on the street.